After a very active start to our investigation, our team decides to unite our efforts in an attempt to find Samson, the spirit that Chip Coffee told us would be waiting for our help upon our return to the mill agent's house. But will we be able to find the spirit and help him out, or not? Journey with us and see on the season finale of Haunt Me. The Mill Agent House is one of our favorite places that we've ever visited, so knowing that we had unfinished business here, all of us really wanted to come back and we had to do that. We didn't want to just do it alone, we wanted to bring in new tactics, new skills, and new ideas. This place is full of spirits that we weren't able to communicate with last time and we want to meet them all. Speaking with Chip before we came into the Mill Agent House really benefited us in knowing that there might be certain people waiting for us. One of them, Sam Samson or Samuel, that he said, he isn't a resident of the Mill Agent House, but might be trying to meet us here tonight. His name is either Sam or Samuel. He walks with a limp and he is a older black man. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know like, if there's a connection with the mill um, that maybe he came over there. He's from the area. He will be meeting us at the house tonight. He's coming your way was that his exact word. This is when <laughs> it kind of got a little um, emotional, actually. Um, mm -hmm. He is looking for help. Um, in a way that he is a very good Christian. Um, he does not believe that he deserves hell. He also does not believe he deserves heaven. He doesn't okay. think he should go to hell with the devil, but he doesn't feel like he deserves to go to heaven. So he's very emotional. That's awful. It's, it's terrible. And, and uh, Chip actually started to cry. Okay. And I think that's really poignant because I think I followed your lead, Katie. How can we help him? I know that would be the next question. Oh, yeah. of course. Right. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Chip flat out said all he wants is someone to sit and pray with him. I would be remiss if I left tonight um, without saying a prayer at all, um, even if we don't make direct contact with Sam. I think that's important in the way that I respect Chip in such a way that he said that Sam would be meeting us here. If, if I don't talk to him, I'll still just, you know, spend some time tonight saying some prayers. Hey. Hey. Good night so far? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Lots of footsteps. We were downstairs and they were all above us. Oh, wicked awesome ones. Slightly intimidating. Like, like, yeah, creep. you'll hear them going up, but you, yeah. then you'll hear them running the halls. Yeah. And like, you'll get up. It's yeah. not your kid. Yeah. yeah. I'll hear them running up and down stairs, and it's like, are they on that side or on this side? My name's Ray Breton, and I'm the owner of the house. I'm in one of the smallest apartments in this house, which is six units and all. Well, there was always paranormal stuff around me when I was a kid. My parents were religious, you know, and they're like, they don't want to hear it. So I had to grow up. Uh, dealing with it by myself and how to deal with it. Didn't know anything about it, so you kind of never talked to nobody. I didn't know where to go with it. And then when I built a home, it was the same thing. I mean, the things followed me. And it was like, okay, they're here too. And it's a new home, but they're here. And then when I bought this place, it's like the house was calling. We Ooh. felt something in the attic. Yeah. We couldn't make contact. And then we were down in the crying room, and um, you heard creaking as someone got off the bed, and then a thump in the other room. They left they the room. They left the room. I think the reason we got so many good results, we literally spent the first 10 minutes gaining trust. We yeah, did. We, yeah. we spent the first 10 minutes just downstairs at, we... asking them to, like, yeah, knock if they want us to come upstairs. Even right, come so, up yeah. or move at all or you, take a picture. Do you think it's okay for us to bust out, like, the REM pod and stuff now, or should we just... We I told would... them that you guys were coming back and then that we'd all come back with loud stuff. Okay. We had one thought along that. Last year, mm -hmm. or two years ago, when we were last at the, the Mill Agent house, we are at... We are in the room with the balls. Me, right. Carol, the foot drag right. the foot dragged in the hallway. Chip Coffee said <gasps> Sam Samuel had has a, a limp injured leg. Oh. Maybe what if he's been trying to get a hold of us oh, for a really oh, long time? Dude. All right. Hello. I just want to make our presence known. My name is Katie. I'm Carol. Um, and we are just gonna come down here and we just wanna talk to you. You, pr um, If the captain is here, you probably remember me last time. I was kind of messing with you a little bit. I don't really wanna play those kind of games today. I wanna learn a little bit more about you. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna come downstairs now. Is 
Is this the room? Yes. Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> oh, Captain. <laughs> Oh, so someone. it looks like um, all of the same stuff is here, which is pretty cool. The last time I was here, I pretended to take all of your stuff. And then you came swooping in, giving, giving us chills and causing, like a, causing a breeze. Making, us, making your presence very known. Which I kind of thought that that was pretty cool. Like, I mess with you a little bit, you mess with me a little bit. Yeah, we get that about you, we get that. Yeah, gotcha. like, we, we're a little bit of pranksters too. Like, Definitely. we totally like understand that that's like super fun. We sadly did not get any responses in the basement from the captain. I was hoping that he would knock my hood off of my head, just kind of playfully. We took some pictures down there in hopes of getting, you know, a glimpse of someone in a picture, but nothing like that. What are you doing, Ty? Ash, I can't move. I'm terrified. Where are you? Right here, in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah, you're good. Here. Should we do it? I mean, it's the only place where anything is right now, right. so, yeah. Okay, okay. Everything inside of me is telling me don't go. Who's in there? We know someone is. I'm gonna put something down on the ground. Just heard a thump somewhere. Oh my god, I'm sweating. That's fine. I'm in here, I'm just a, a fan. Everything, like as you're a kid, telling you just keep away from the, the bottom of the bed so something doesn't grab your ankles. Are you friends with Ray? Sam? Is that you? We know you've been looking for us. I heard that. Yeah, and I thought I saw something break the light at the same time. That yeah, door. come on down, Sam. We're right here. If you want to touch this green light in my hand or one of the red lights on the ground, we're really happy to listen to you and pray with you. We just need to know that you're here so that we're not doing it to the dark. That would make us feel a little foolish. There's footsteps down that hall. Do you hear that? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Ty and I did hear a couple bangs in the hall when we mentioned Sam. So it wasn't like a definitive, yes, here I am, come help me. But it was it was a closer lead of like, I could be over here. I've, I, we asked a question, there was a noise. It was the best we had at that moment. Well, we'd hate for you to be afraid of us. We really wanted to come here to make friends with everybody because we have a lot of love and respect for Ray. Um, and I'm under the impression that you guys do too, that Ray's kind of your steward. He's kind of the leader of this house, isn't that right? Can you knock on the wall if, if Ray's the leader of this house? I'm getting kind of a hostile, a hostile response. You don't think that Ray is the leader of this house? How about, how about make a loud noise if Ray is not the leader of this house? So here's the thing about no noise at all. I'm hearing that. Oh yeah, me too. Are you coming closer? That would be cool. We would be able to talk a little better if you could come closer. Should we go around and take some pictures around here? And see if anybody wants their picture taken around here? I'm on it. One, two, three. 
Ooh, what was that? One, two, three. Ooh, all right. We got something? I think. You're gonna look where that red is. Oh, okay. So this is the second one. Oh, yeah. It looks kind of like it's in motion. It's it, it is in motion. That is what a poltergeist looks like on camera. We just decided we should start taking pictures and both Katie, myself, and our cameraman, which I thought was funny, he was just like, take a picture near the door. So I took a picture, I took a couple, and in only one there's, I assume it's an orb, but either way it's it's in motion. It looks like a solid like noodle or something. That was a good one. That, that was looked a good like one. it just wasn't like a piece of dust. It looked right, like it that was, was without a doubt movement energy. Will you take one of me? Sure. If you want to get in the picture with Katie, one, two, three. It sucks that I didn't get anything because I just feel like there should have been something in that photo. Did I that? kind of feel like something is trying to attach to me. Oh. Like I feel like. For comfort? No. To. Is, is that why you're getting tired? I don't know, right? Um. I kind of want to go to Ray's room. All right, let's do it. We tried to recreate last season when the ball was rolling around that room. It was really important that we tried to recreate that, trying to figure out how level that room is, if there's any way that a ball would have done that on its own. Because I see that and I can't believe it. So this is the room of the ball incident. All right, if there is someone here, um, we were in this room a while ago and you played ball with us. Do you want to play again? I know there's more stuff in the room now. But there's still space to, um, to play pass. I think this already speaks volumes to the fact that it's not cruising. Yeah. <laughs> So non-evidence is actually reaffirming our old evidence. That's cool. Yeah, so this was around the area that it happened in. Couldn't recreate the, the moment, so kind of feel better throwing out the, the loose floorboard um, thought from, from last year. See, we can do this with the balloons. We can play with them, bop them up in the air. Is that fun? Get in on that. Get in on that. That's good stuff. Or we can pop them. <laughs> Do you want to see me Would you like to flip out, pop a balloon? Roll that balloon towards us. That would be fun. It's a fun game. Ty and I had a great dynamic. I think it was great to play more with the EVPs and the audio. Katie and I, when we're on team together, tend to be very metaphysical. So with Ty, it was great to play more with the science aspects and kind of weave that in with some of the techniques that I do on my own. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. The balloons started wiggling too. Who's there? You're definitely welcome to play with those balloons. Take one. Huh? What's that thing in the house? It's like powering up. Yeah. You know what's weird? Is I have the urge to ask questions, but I don't feel like anybody's in here. I feel like it's all energy. Like, just like... Right? I know. I, I like, think we should just be in silent in here for yeah, a minute. Agreed. I want to see if I can get Asha to tell me anything. I have been furthering my studies in meditation. Doing so, I kind of do a little bit of talking to other realms, I guess, is what you would call it. It's a very much a personal experience, but in my meditations, I have kind of discovered one of my guides, and we are able to actually go back and forth within a conversation with each other. I've come to find out that her name is Asha, and when I see a spirit, it's really challenging for me personally because you know, you, a lot of thoughts go through your head. You're like, am I crazy? Am I actually seeing this? Is this real? Especially when nobody else is seeing it, there is 
something about having that validation. And of course, talking with like this imaginary guide sort of seems funny for validation, but it's but it's so clear in my mind that I that I know it's there or I know it's not. If anybody feels like coming in and sitting on the bed with us. What I've gotten so far, sit right here. What Asha is saying to me so far is she's saying, no one is coming home with you, Katie. Because I haven't even asked a single question. I just tapped in. This is just like her instantaneously telling me stuff. No one is coming home with you, Katie. No one is trying to attach themselves to you, Katie. Um, they're all afraid of you. She says that they sense that I have the ability to remove them from here and they don't want to be removed from here and they are afraid of me. Maybe just be vocal about it and be like, I, I have this feeling that you, you can sense that I'm able to help remove or mm. I will not do that without your permission. I have been doing things without their permission. I guess I'll be transparent about that too. Like I know that I've been like going upstairs, even when I ask you to and you don't say that I can. Let me just see that so I can get better. So, I asked her about Sam, and she said that Sam is for Ty. And she said that the only spirit here that trusts me is Mary Elizabeth and that Mary Elizabeth is on the other side and that I should hang out in the kitchen and focus on Mary Elizabeth. But you all should go upstairs. I don't want to separate. I don't like that so idea. I should be with you for, oh, did you just see my K2? Yeah, I did. She doesn't think that I should be a part of the spirit box session that's upstairs on the other Who side. Who doesn't? Asha. Uh, she thinks that I should stay downstairs while you guys do that. I was told that Sam is for Ty, that Mary Elizabeth is the only spirit in the building that actually trusts me. She said that Ty should go in the basement by himself. She said that I should not do a spirit box session upstairs with my team on the other side at the end of the night. I don't know if it's because my Wiccan beliefs are so strong and that I, you know, have a pentagram on me or whatever, and Sam's beliefs were based um, in Christianity. But I am so open to people believing in what they believe in and feeling good about themselves and feeling empowered in all of their beliefs that I would never let my beliefs trump somebody else's. So when we came back over here, it had been about four hours into our investigation at that, at that point, and the most we, I had was the bumps that me and Ash saw, and that that wasn't enough. It's hard to pinpoint down. I don't know. I came in naively thinking that Sam would be like sitting here wearing a, like an I am Sam T-shirt, but like it's hard to pinpoint down spirits. Like we've yeah. bumped into any number of people tonight that could be under any name. He never really made it clear, like by knocking or doing anything specifically. So we don't know that he's here. I don't know why. I I kind of assumed. Um, that we would get here and with what Chip had said that there would be this Sam character that would like come down the stairs and be like, hey guys, I'm here. Um, I, that's honestly kind of what I thought would happen. Like it would be a super obvious spirit that had been waiting for us to show up and then we could do what we needed to do and we could move on. I think the Maybe. crying room should be where we focus over here. Okay. Um, Cause that was the hot spot uh -huh. on the side and then uh -huh. we'll go next door. And yeah. close out the evening there. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, and then if anything changes along the way, we'll all make a plan. Want me to put this out here or on the chair then, Carol? I think either way, because I heard stuff right here, and then I caught that, so. Let's put it in the put doorway. Put it in the doorway. Yeah. Put it right in the doorway. That machine that has the red light that was just blinking um, will make a sound when you get closer, but I, again, want to really reiterate that we have no intention of harming anyone at all. All of our machines are lights and sound. No, look Ooh, at that. That's going on right in front of you, Nick. K2's right red. Right in front of you, red. Oh, look, though, It's going look. red. It's going red. What's that sound? What is sound? that sound? Is this a REM pod? Yeah. Hi. 
Hello. Okay, well, hi. I'm going to back up. I'm yeah. sorry. Sorry. Um, hey. All right, come on in. Just We're like gonna we... get this working over yeah, here. Yeah, let's let's yeah. let's talk to each other. REM pods are really cool. Um, they're very very sensitive, so it's hard to get readings off of them that are completely legit. Or when something gets close enough, the uh, lights will go off depending on how close it is. What is your name? <laughs> There's a deep growl below almost everything. The floor is vibrating. Is there a Sam here tonight? Maybe. Sam, a friend of mine said that we're supposed to meet you here tonight. We came all this way. Can you let us know that you're here? Need a real clear answer. Um, I was told that Mary Elizabeth, trust me, is there a Mary Elizabeth in this building? Katie? I thought I heard Katie as well. I also heard somebody go, oh. Yep. Yeah. Katie. Oh. Oh. Or maybe it was more like, oh. <laughs> is, there, is there a message for Katie? Do you guys have some thoughts about Katie? Katie. I'm sorry to say Katie again. Yeah, but that was a that yeah. was like a reasonable voice. Do you need Katie's help with something? I was... Complicated? Yeah. Sam. Complicated. Heard it. Heard it. It's complicated. It's very complicated. What are you going to say now? I'm here tonight. I have this cross with me so that you know that I'm also right. Christian. Praying. You heard that? Praying. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with a cross as a Christian. I have a Bible with me. If you let me know which room to go to, I'll hold a prayer meeting there. If you're a Christian and would like to pray, we can talk about heaven. I heard Katie and Cross. What was that? I thought I heard heaven. I heard heaven. heaven. We can talk about heaven. Just let me know where. Which room should we meet you in? I just didn't want to say it the first time. You want to go down the basement? Are we supposed to pray in the basement? Do you want us all to go? That went off. That went off. Do you want us all to go to the basement? I'm, I'm really feeling something right here. Somewhere? A lot. And right when you guys were talking about going to the basement, I had the urge to say, no, no, I want to ask a few more questions. Basement. And then that went off. I said basement again. So we'll come down to the base in a minute. Carol's got some more questions. Basement and Katie. Sam, I need you to tell us why you want it to try to go to the basement and then we'll do it, okay? You can't. You can't tell us. Katie. You can't say it because Katie's here? That's ridiculous. I'm gonna leave. Here we go. I'm telling you guys, I really feel something right next to me. I do too. Wait, wait, should, should Katie leave? Can you make that, let, that blue light go off again if you want Katie to leave? Will you tell us if Katie leaves? Sam, is it because Katie is in a couple? Yeah, is it because she's in a couple? I don't think we should go down. I yeah. really think we should stay. I'm gonna go. Okay. Katie's All gonna right. be leaving. I'll leave. <laughs> and I don't like her. She's gonna be alone. Well, she doesn't need to be alone. Something's going on again. Maybe Aaron can go with her? Yeah. Or someone? Yeah. Who's that growl underneath it? Does that vibrate? I feel vibrating. Oh, thank you. This is much better. Wait. <laughs> Does this vibrate? <laughs> 
It's I'm happening. So <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is happening right now? The what is this? The ground is vibrating. It's That's like a joke off. that this song is playing right now. No, seriously, <laughs> does that vibrate? No. Because I just felt the, the ground is going vibrate. Right twice. Now. Yeah. Oh god. Literally. <laughs> like it's not a constant vibration. It's a. Can we just talk about like? Does this seem like? Why does? Why do they want Katie away? Katie's like our protection to a degree. But to 1850s Christian Sam, and we have a page. Oh my! Yeah, but like, never why, why even cross my mind. Why am I okay? Didn't Maybe even cross my mind. Yeah, no, you didn't. I love Katie doing this to this music. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way. This is uh, what ghost hunting is about, ladies and gentlemen. I only left because um, of my meditation early on in the night. Um, it made me feel like that the spirits weren't necessarily here for me tonight. They weren't necessarily here to talk to me. That, you know, Sam is a traveler. He doesn't live here. He came here specifically to make contact with Ty. And that was the whole point of our evening, in my opinion. Okay, so... So Katie the witch? Katie's gone. Um... Did you still want to pray? Can you light that up if you want us to pray for you? Or with you? Do you not like the fact that we hang out with a witch? Because we're fine with it. I'm going to look at that blank. Katie, if you can hear me, I'm so sorry about this. Katie is not um, evil. Katie is very loving, and she cares about everyone in this house and all of us. Mm -hmm. And. So I noticed that you started <laughs> blinking when we mentioned burning Katie at the stake outside for being a witch. Katie doesn't believe in the devil. She See? doesn't worship See? the devil. See? That's why I said what I just said. The second She doesn't. I don't care what you say. No. No, that's not. No, I'm not, I'm talking to this thing. No, not... I know what I'm saying. It started to blink when I said, oh, what do we burn her at the stake outside? And then when I just said it again, it started going constant. That means the temperature has risen. Well, I promise you we're not burning her at the stake. She's one of our dear friends. We had talked about burning Katie outside at the stake as a joke. Like, what do you want us to do, burn her outside on the stake? And it went off. And so I noticed that, and I cracked another joke, and I said, guys, it's going off when we're talking about burning her at the stake. Beep, 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 red, it's all red, and it's going off, and we're like, oh, that's not good. And, well, it started blinking when we said burning her at the stake, then it became constant. I've been burned at the stake, thank you very much, in two of my past lives. I'm She's good. not going again. I'm good, guys. I don't understand. It feels very muddled to me, and also they stopped saying something about the basement after you left. I don't know what that was all about. The Separation, maybe they just wanted her the furthest. I think the biggest well, thing. Well, no, they wanted to send Ty to the basement. Yeah, Ty was supposed to be the one to go to the basement. I haven't been there at all today. You should. Why don't we go? Why don't we just be one floor apart and you go by with a camera person? I mean, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I can do that. I don't want to. Is that what you want? If you want him in the basement, you know, like it could that be the up. captain because this thing has been in my pocket all night. You want a drink? <laughs> if you want a drink, I need to see something other than red. That is. That's more activity that than it was. That could be the lamest. I'm not the chosen one. I have booze in my pocket. Can you like that? Yes. Oh go. my god. Okay. You got booze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this wants to drink. That is so funny. Well, Do you want to <laughs> drink? <laughs> Well, well why not? They, they used mean, to here's drink. The thing, though, I mean, we have been talking all night about how happy the spirits are here and how happy this place is. Like. There should, there should be no reason for Ty to be afraid to go to the basement. You know what I mean? Let's go. Okay, I'm coming down, Captain. All night long, they've been getting these messages. Ty needs to be alone in the basement, Ty to the basement. When I realized that I have the Captain's gift that I brought him has been sitting in my pocket all night. So all night when he's asking me to go to the basement, I had rum, a little nip of rum in my pocket. He wanted that. Okay, so here we are. So I have this. If you want to make either one of these lights go off, it's yours. 
down here in the creepy basement. Captain Sturgis, how does this smell? Oh my god. That was as soon as I opened it up. Captain Sturgis, do you want some of this? Oh, smells good. It smells like rum. And it's all yours. What's your name, sir? There's like stuff clawing at the wall in here. I'm gonna have another sip. Okay, nope, it's all yours. <laughs> there you go. We're, oh my God. Okay, great, yeah, I set it down. It's yours now. It's yours. Thank you, Nathan, Captain Sturgis, or Francois. Absolutely all yours, and we're just gonna head out. Just, I'm gonna leave that right there for you. Going back to apartment one, I expected maybe a few more knocks and creaks. We didn't find Sam, maybe we just say a quick prayer and leave. My expectations were thrown out the window by what happened. All right, hello, we're back. Um, oh, the EMF's going off. As soon as we walked in, it was going off. Okay. Hi, that we're was back. Off? Yeah, it was going off as soon as we walked in. Hi. The second we walk in, you can see up the stairs already, and one of the EMF detectors is going off. And Ashley says the EMF detector's going off, so we're asking questions, yada, yada. We end up going up. We've got a super loud machine. I just want to warn you, just because I know that you have a hard time with trusting people. <laughs> See what I mean? It's really loud. Sorry. Um, is Mary Elizabeth here? Um, well, my name is Katie. I'm Ty. I'm Carol. I'm Ash. What's your name? Wait, I'm sorry, what is your name? I heard Sam again, but I don't know if I want it. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I don't know. Sam! Sam, how can we help you? We were sitting there asking again for Sam. Like, we don't have a lot of time left. If you're going to make yourself known, it's now or never. Um, we need to try to find you. If not, like I said, we're going to have to say a simple little quick little prayer and head home. Sam, if you're here, will you go like this? Sam, are you here? I'll say it one more time and I'll say it a little bit louder. Sam, if you're here, we're here to pray with you. If you're here, go like this. Samson, it's the end of the night. It's getting late for us and we can't stay too much longer. So we want to make sure that we're in the right area for you so that we can have a discussion about heaven and why you deserve it. I just heard a man's voice say, I don't, I don't know if you guys you heard do. that. You do, Sam, you do deserve it. Everyone does, Sam, you included. You do. Sam, we're coming to you. All right, here we come, Sam. We're coming. You just stay right where you are. Oh my God, you guys. Can I right. get the book? Yeah, I got a Bible. Sam? Sam, just stay Hi, right Sam. there. Stay right there, Sam. Sam I have a Bible. You, do you, is it okay if we are from Here, Sam? I'm going to stay back here just because. Well, I'm coming over, Sam. Don't worry, I'm right here. Carol has my grandmother's Bible. We're going to have some, we're going to talk. You know it takes a lot for these things to go off. Sam, ooh. Look at that. Orange. Jesus. Ty, okay, yep. Ty. The Bible. I put the Bible near it and it goes faster. <gasps> Did you see it go faster? Let's when I put the Bible. There's a woman in here. 
Okay, some. I made a note. Yes, they are. So you guys are here being surrounded. They're all gathered. There's a woman in this doorway. There's, 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 people, there's in people in here. It's they're okay. all coming out no, of their rooms. Good. They're like so good. We got they this. Like so good. Good. Psalm 23 4. Let's try to find it. Sam, you belong in heaven. You deserve it. You absolutely. Whatever anyone's you are told you. You're such a good person. Exactly. If someone has told you that you don't deserve it, everyone. You, you absolutely deserve heaven. What else is going off? The other in the other room. It's the other EMF. You absolutely deserve heaven. This is absurd. This is awesome. Amazing. All EMFs are going off right now. We are not near some of them. Samson. Do you hear this? Yeah. I want you to know that you can go to the other side. You're worthy of it. And my grandmother always told me that where two or more gather, to pray, God is listening. So Sam, I'm gonna read Psalm 23, four. The Lord, the shepherd of his people, the Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall shall follow me. All the days of life in the Lord, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The king and the glory of his kingdom. The earth is the Lord's in all of, of its fullness. The world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. He's calming down. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and pure heart. That's you, Samson. That's all of us. All of us here tonight. Like I saw her face. Who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully? Yeah. yeah, come. He shall receive the blessing of the Lord in righteousness from God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him. You who seek your face, lift up your head, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O you gates. Lift up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Amen. 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 How do you feel, Sam? There's anyone who wants to can walk away. They can go into the light. The light is there for all of you. It's there for all of us. That's why it's there. You deserve better than this place and this earth. We're here tonight to let you know this, there is better. And you deserve it and you should go there. And one day all of us will join you. No one that lived with you on earth could ever tell you your worth. You deserve everything. If you're you such a good person. If you had anyone in life say something awful to you, you're free. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> Oh, let's go home. <laughs> oh my God. All right, you mother. Get over here, hug it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you guys. When we came back, we were able to experience a lot of the things that happened last time and then build on that too, which is incredible. 
We got bumps and knocks. We got some questionable photo evidence that Carol was able to pick up. Katie had a communication on the spirit box. The REM pod went off, which never happens to us. I got to reach out to a spirit based on a, a trigger object, the rum. But the biggest moment of the night by far was finally being able to communicate with the spirit that Chip Coffee said was waiting for us. Reaching out to Sam, praying with him, helping him cross over maybe. I, I can't even believe that happened. It was such a big experience. Therefore, I feel comfortable negating our pre-rate and assigning this a 10, but not a blood row. This was a very positive experience. So we're gonna switch the rating around from 10 being spooky, scary, bloodthirsty, to something being more positive in light, a welkin, an old English word meaning vault of heaven, because I think that is incredibly important for us to communicate with you that not all paranormal activity is evil or dark. It can be intense and it can be good, and that's what it was tonight. Now that was good work, good job. That's why we do this. I've never seen anything like that in my life. That was maybe like the most powerful experience I've ever had. Uh, one more. Yeah. <laughs> God, I love you guys.